So hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a different type of video that you are not used to seeing me do, which is going to be basically about my skincare routine. And a lot of my clients always ask me, how do I keep my skin super, super clear? And I'm always suggesting products. So I always end up forgetting my main thing that I do, which is a CMOS mask. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make CMOS gel basically. So really quick, I just want to go through the benefits with you guys because a lot of people still don't know about CMOS and it really got popular when Dr. Sebi's son did an interview, but I've been using this since before then because my husband actually turned me on to it because we go to a natural store all the time. So I wanted to actually come and show you guys how I do it. Um, the main reason that I think it works so well is because I've seen results clearly. Um, I used to have a lot, a lot of dark spots, literally right under my eyes. And it always looked like freckles, but I can see them actually diminishing. So I wanted to bring this into my skincare routine and share it with you guys. So what's in CMOS is actually like iron, zinc, iodine. It has 92 minerals that your body is made up of. And you get all the nutrition and benefits in one product or one natural element of the earth, basically. Um, another thing that this does have is vitamin A, B, C, D. And I honestly think if you are suffering with like discoloration and whatnot, the CMOS mask is definitely gonna be for you. As you guys know, vitamin C is definitely a natural brightener to the skin. So like I said, if you have discoloration, it's definitely gonna work for you. Um, another benefit of this is you can actually use it in your hair. You can use it on your scalp. Um, it does promote thickness of the hair. And I have seen some people talk about this on YouTube that it makes your hair grow thicker. I've seen somebody use it on their eyebrows. And I can actually say that, yes, it does make your eyebrows grow like crazy, especially if you're going to use this for a mask. Um, if you're going to use this for your hair, like inside your scalp, this does have sulfur in it. So it is going to be that natural thickening of the hair. You don't have to use a thousand products. I do also know that this is definitely going to be really, really good if you um, on your skin. If you suffer from psoriasis or eczema, it does have that hydrating effect and it does have that benefit to clear up the skin. It's definitely going to leave your skin super soft and super hydrated. So let's get right into it. I'm also going to share with you guys how you can actually put this into drinks. So let's just jump right into how to make the gel. So this is the sea moss right here that I do have in a bag. You can store this in a mason jar. You can store this in a container. I just have it in a bag because it's easier for me to access in the mornings. Um, I do normally use the mask at night, but I usually make it in the morning. So that way the gel actually has that jelly consistency. So I'm gonna show you guys how to clean the sea moss and about how much you need to do just a basic face mask. You could also use this in the shower before you get in the shower. Um, and then you're just rinsing it off basically. But I'm going to show you guys how to do a mask really quick and how much you might need. And sea moss does have like a um, fishy smell. So it's really, really important to wash this really good. So this is just a bowl of cool water. And we're going to put this in. We're gonna move it around, see all that dust and particles just coming off that sea moss. That's what you want. And you're gonna do this about three times. So we're gonna swoosh it around, use your fingers, make sure all that salt is off of the sea moss. I've seen um, some sea moss on Amazon, which I do not suggest buying, considering it's like packaged and it has all other types of stuff mixed into it. No, you just want regular sea moss. And I'll have a link down below on um, if you guys want to purchase it. So this is what it should start to look like. Just clear all that salt off of the sea moss. And we're going to do this two to three times. So this is the first time I'm using my fingers, making sure I'm brushing it. Um, it will start to feel kind of jelly if you use warm water or hot water. So that's why I suggest the cool water because you're not cooking it as you're cleaning it. Okay, so I've done this twice. Actually, I've done this three times. 
Um, your water should be clear. There should be nothing floating around in the water except for like little particles of the sea moss actually. So I have a good handful of sea moss. That should be pretty good just for your face. If you were doing your body, of course you would need more. A handful should also be good if you're just using this for um, blended drinks or if you want to add this into your morning uh, routine. A handful should be good and it should look exactly like this. Like it should be clean. The water should be clear. All particles of salt and debris should be gone. It should look just like this. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually boil this. It's really simple. Pan, water, sea moss. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm just using a medium sized pot. This is fine when you're just doing like small batches. Of course, if you're doing a larger batch, you need a larger pot, but a medium sized pot is good. I'm gonna start out with one cup of water and kind of just add more as I go because this isn't going to be enough, clearly. So this is one cup, two cups. Two cups should be good just for the handful that we have. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and put it right into the pot. So we're going to boil this just to give it a boil. So we're gonna boil this for maybe about five minutes. Then we're gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer for a good 20 minutes. Um, but of course, I'm gonna keep my eye on it and you guys should always keep your eye on anything that's on the stove, especially if you're trying to make it into a gel the water will start to look jelly. So it's gonna give you like a bubbling. And of course I'll show you guys exactly how it's supposed to look, but that's what you're looking for. You're looking for like a jelly consistency within the water. You're not, you're not really looking for the sea moss to be completely gone. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking just for the water to become that jelly consistency. So again, we're gonna let it boil for about five minutes. Then we're gonna turn the heat down and let that simmer for about 20 minutes because you want all of the good, good gel to start to form. Okay guys, so this took approximately 25 to 30 minutes and of course I always basically eyeball this. This is what you wanna look for. You see that rim right here? That's letting you know that it's creating a gel and as you guys can see, it's hard. So it's letting you know it's creating the gel. Um, the consistency is going to be watery for now because it's still super, super hot. So I like to take a fork. It is a jelly consistency, as you guys can see on my fingers. So it's still super, super hot. It feels like a gel. It feels kind of like a, a serum. So it should feel like a serum right now. And as you guys can see, it's sticky. That's what you want. So we're going to let this cool down. You can let this cool down by just sitting it out in a container or uh, like I said, a mason jar, or you can put it in the refrigerator and it'll speed the process up and making it that jelly. But for now, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so we can speed the process up for you guys. And you do not have to throw this sea moss away. So I left it in the refrigerator for about 10, 15 minutes. I want this to not be super, super thick. I want this to kind of be a little watery because it's easier to maneuver on your face when you're using this as a mask. So this is what it should look like. Just like this, it should be bouncy, but still have a watery consistency and it is still a little warm. That's what I'm looking for, that jelly consistency. I want it to feel like a serum on my face. Um, you can use it when it's thicker. However, it's gonna be a lot messier and a lot harder to maneuver on your face. So that's also another reason why I said to let this actually just sit out on the counter and let it cool off that way instead of putting it in the refrigerator because it'll get thicker faster in the refrigerator. So um, again, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's all it took. It gave me a really, really nice consistency. Like I said, I want it to feel like a serum all over my face. Okay. So if you guys are new to my channel, then you guys won't really notice the dark spots that are like literally right here and right here. But if you are coming back to my channel, then you guys know that my dark spots used to be really, really dark and look like freckles. And since I've been doing this, it's been clearing up and it's been getting lighter. So that's what I want. Um, 
Also, I'm about to be 32. This is a really good mask for that anti-aging, really help with fine lines. I've noticed that my under eyes are not as uh, puffy as they were like maybe a year ago. So this is just going to be something that you can use for all types of skin conditions. So let's go ahead and start applying it. I'm just gonna use my finger just like this. And this is what it looks like. So it should give you that jelly consistency. And we're just going to massage it in circular motions all over our face. And when we get to the eye part, we're just going to pat it because we don't want to stretch out our skin and cause any more issues. And it doesn't have to be pretty. So get in there, use your whole hand if you want. I'm just using my finger because I have a really small head anyway. And as you guys can see, it does make your hair grow back thicker and it does basically grow your hair back faster. So I'm noticing that I have to pretty much like pluck my eyebrows a lot more after using these masks. And I do this once a week. I try not to overdo it because you don't need that much of this to give you results. You can even put this on your lips. Like it's super, super safe. It's not toxic. Again, like I was saying, you can, <laughs> again, like I was saying, you can drink it, you can eat it. <laughs> you can put this all over your skin and just be good. Like I just feel super, super hydrated. And again, we're just doing this in circular motions. I also noticed that this part of my face, my T-zone, isn't as oily after using this as well. And again, I'm doing just my eyes really, really lightly and I'm going to pat. I'm not applying pressure. And you don't need a lot. So this will last you a good week or two. Um, to store it, again, mason jar, put it in the fridge. You're good to go. So I'm just going to let this sit on my face for about five minutes, and then I'll rinse it off and show you guys just how hydrating you'll look and feel afterwards. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and I just want you guys to know how it's going to feel on your face once it starts to dry. It is going to basically feel like it's tightening, kind of like if you were doing like an egg white mask, that's what it feels like. It feels like it's just tightening. Um, and that's what you wanna look for. That's how you know it's drying and that's how you know that it's actually like clinging to your skin. Okay guys, so I went ahead and rinsed off the CMOS mask after five minutes. My face feels hydrated, it feels clean and it feels refreshed. Um, I do normally follow up with a serum or a moisturizer Again, you guys can use whatever you want after this. This is just to basically help with your skin overall. So I do hope that you guys found this video informative and comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. All the links for everything will be down below. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video.